I'm here with Ali Kiani at the Olympus uh, press booth and I wanted to talk to him about the new Olympus EM12. Uh, he's got, he also, he also has the brand new Olympus uh, 12 to 100 millimeter F4 lens. This is the one that's coming out in November, right? This one is already out, so this one is going to be available very, very soon, the lenses. The camera is going to be out later this year. Okay, so what can you tell me about the uh, EM-1-2 and its advantages over the uh, EM-1? Okay, EM-1-2 uh, is replacing the EM-1 in the flagship positioning. It's going to be the new flagship for OMD as well as the PEN series. Okay. And uh, since the EM-1 came out, basically the development of the EM-1 Mark II started. So it has been almost four years in the development. Right. What happened in those years was that not only we started putting innovations and new features into the camera, but also we incorporated a lot of the feedbacks that we were receiving already from the EM-1. Right. So when you look at the exterior on one side, we knew that many photographers loved the way EM-1 looked and handled itself. Mm -hmm. So basically it has the same DNA. Yep. But what happened is that there's some minor adjustments that improves the ergonomics by a lot. Okay. So you have it now in your hands, you might notice that it has a better or bigger grip yep, compared to definitely. the one. The grip is now extruding a little bit more and on the other side your thumb rest has now uh, reset a little bit. So you have yep. a deeper thumb rest on the other side. So the combination will allow you to carry larger lenses such as this one much easier. Okay, now the big story with this camera that I've been hearing is 18 frames a second continuous autofocus. That is true. 60 frames a second like with a locked focus. How did you manage to make that happen? All of those in full resolution raw format, not to forget. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. what happened is that there are many elements uh, involved. On one side there's a new processor and then completely new imaging uh, sensor inside the camera. Mm -hmm. These two work not only hand in hand but the processes between these two components has also been optimized yeah. so that you have a lot of parallel things running and happening in, in, in with at, at all times so that it allows you to make the best out of the camera's performance yeah. what that means is that you will literally have no blackout anymore in there no blackout so well. the buffer takes them first and now it's going to write them down into the into the memory card. That's why we recommend a UHS Type 2 high speed memory card to go with the E1 Mark II. What you're holding also in your hand, which also is a big contribution factor, is the new 12100 lens. Right. And uh, I don't know if you know the Sync IS technology or not. This is the second lens that comes out with the Sync IS technology on one side. On the other side, you see this lens. This is what other systems have to come up with two lenses to, to, to cover this focal length. So for us, this is also a very innovation statement in terms of lens making because you have the constant aperture which was and is the basic concept of the pro lens lineup that we mm -hmm. offer and now we have this 12 to 100 uh, focal point uh, focal range that we cover only with one lens at all times with f4 cool. all right and uh, other than that i'm assuming like the original it's uh Weather sealed. It's weather sealed. And uh, dust resistant. And it's weather sealed. It's bulletproof, right? It's we can. All right, and is there some sort of a flat picture profile in here? There is a flat video uh, profile for the uh, for the video time, okay. and uh, it is not completely flat, but right. it's good enough for, for the photographers to get the data out of it and then to put um, a lot of food processing into it. Okay. All right. So that's it. The EM1 Mark II, uh, better grip on the front and a better rear grip, uh, dust proof, weather resistant, 18 frames per second continuous, 60 frames per second with a single shot autofocus, cinema 4K as well as regular 4K and don't forget about the amazing like uh, image stabilization system that uh, they've got built in here. So this has been Ali and David and Simon off of the distance and <laughs> we'll see you on YouTube.